Hello everyone, this is Matt Miller, Dean of Online Instruction. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to show you how you can uh, reset passwords or assist students with passwords for Canvas. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this if you're an instructor or if you're a department chair or dean, which has a little bit extra privileges than uh, just the instructor uh, level. So um, at any rate, here we are in Canvas. I'm actually logged in as, uh, uh, as one of our deans. Uh, and so you can see that we have some courses listed out there for that. So if I was an instructor in a class and a student came to me asking me to help them with their password, maybe they couldn't access Canvas, and need some help accessing Canvas, uh, I can actually help them on the spot instead of having to send them to the help desk. I can give them immediate help, make them happy, make me happy. Uh, they can get in there and start doing their coursework. So uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go into my course. So just click on your course card to get into the course. And then once you're inside the course itself, you'll notice on the left-hand side you have a people menu. So if I click on people, it will allow me to see a listing of all of the students that are in this particular class. Um, here you can see there is a student, Jacqueline Hernandez. Say this is a student that needs my help. Notice that I can see their login information, their student IDs, all some basic information for them. But if I want to reset her password, what I need to do first of all is to actually click on her name. Now, as you know, in Canvas, when you click on someone's name, it brings up what I like to call the little baseball card of information as far as how they're doing in my class and how much participation and so on. And then once I have this name pulled up, you'll notice that I can actually click on the student's name there. And uh, it'll take me to some basic information about that student uh, as well as far as the other uh, courses that they're in and so on. If I scroll down just a little bit, You'll see there's an area called login information, and there is the, uh, it'll give you the last request and so on and so forth, uh, as well as her student ID and name. What I can do is click on this little pencil icon here, and it will bring up an ability for me to then type in a new password and to confirm it. Now in Canvas, they want you to have up to eight, char or eight characters or, or more. Uh, for a password. So that's why we currently use a student's birth year plus the last four digits of their social uh, to uh, log them into Canvas. However, if you don't know that information or have it handy, uh, one of the tricks that I use is to actually type in the date, today's date, and the year, uh, which will give me eight characters. So if today is February 28th, I type in 02. 28 and then 2018 and then confirm that password and I can send that easily uh, to the student uh, and uh, they can actually get into Canvas and change their password from there. So if I'm not a, a professor in a class, instead I am a dean or a department chair, we've actually provided uh, deans and department chairs with some extra um, access to Canvas so they can go in and not only view the classes that they teach if they happen to teach but also they can go in and look at other classes as well. If you're a dean you actually have access to all of the courses at Navarro College uh, so you can go into any course uh, and, and you can't do a lot in the courses but you can see some basic information if students are having issues or or, uh, or needing some uh, uh, confirmation about something that's happening in their classes, or if a professor needs some help as well, you can go in there too. Department chairs have been assigned uh, the courses that are actually in that particular department, so uh, or departments as it were, so English, biology, business, so on and so forth. Those particular department chairs can go in and just see those courses uh, in which they're responsible for. So uh, to get to those uh, areas, uh, if you'll notice in the left hand side you have your menu, your global navigation menu, and if you're a dean or department chair you'll notice that you actually have an admin button. This little key and shield icon is your admin button. So if I was helping a student cha to change by changing their password or resetting their password, the first thing I want to do is click on this admin button here. And then if I'm a dean, notice I'll have Navarro College as a whole I can look at, or if I'm a department chair, you will then see only the department or departments that you're over listed there as well. So since I'm a dean, I can click on Navarro College here. There we go. And then over on the right hand side, you'll notice that you can search uh, either by the course that the student's in or by the student's name themselves. Okay. Uh, you can also filter the semester. So if it's the spring of 2018 that I want to look at uh, in terms of courses, that I can look at just uh, the 2018 courses that pull up. Um, 
So if I'm going to look at a student, if I just wanted to find a student, the student came to me and I said, okay, what's your name so I can, so I can look you up or whatever, I can actually type in that student's name. Okay, in this particular case, uh, actually I copied it earlier, just for time's sake. Um, her name is uh, Jacqueline Hernandez. Okay, so I can just type in her name or, or part of her name, and it will pull up. If it's just Jacqueline, and that's an interesting way to spell Jacqueline, I can click go, and it would pull up her information there. So now you can see that I have her name pulled up. If I click on her name, just like I did when I was an instructor, I can go down here and there's an area called login information and there's that little pencil icon I can click on again change the password confirm the password click update login and I've just assisted a student without having to trouble the service desk so uh, anyway that's how you do it uh, if there are any questions please let me know uh, it's a pretty easy process again a quick little demonstration but uh, some of you may have some questions still just let me know and I hope you all have a great day thank you